Hello and welcome back to Imperion Galactic Survival. My name is Spange. Welcome back to the Ill Marinan. Uh, the end of the last episode, I died. I died. I got uh, I, I got a little bit excited. I went full jet back through the warp core um, and, and died. <laughs> and now I'm on foot with no weapons to my name. Um, and again, I'm jetpacking around like an absolute crazy person. But I have to uh, retrieve my backpack, retrieve my weapons, and try and get through this warp core without dying. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to park myself here, the other side of this glass, where I can watch that scorpion while I send my drone off to do my dirty work. And now I think these things actually attack the drones now, and now especially I know what does attack the drone, and that's those the sentry guns. In fact, that little chink there was a sentry gun shooting the drone. Um, I'm not sure if I can get shot from here. I need to spy where that sentry is. There it is. I see it. It's right there. A cheeky swine. Okay. In here we have scorpions, we have horrors. Um, we need to get down there, which means we actually need to switch. Or we need to get through this door and switch this switch here. Um, and then I think that's a dead end corridor with a loot container at the end of it. Yep. I believe that's a dead end. Yes, it is. Okay. And then once we go open that switch, that opens then this door down here, and we can progress. But through there is just well. Last time I seem to remember there being um, overseers and stuff down there. Okay. Okay. Inventory back to pre-death. Weapons reloaded. All right. Let's do this again try and do this without we've got to run through this bit at least anyway to get out of the cold but I think as soon as we're through this door it warms back up again uh, the warp core itself is radioactive so we've got to be careful there's that sentry gun got it that's that guy dealt with I do have to use the jetpack in order to get round the warp core. But once we're over here, we can turn the jetpack back off again. We can go through. I can't remember if there's a sentry gun in here or not. Right. Sentry robots, though. Did not remember that happening. Get that loot. Lovely. Okay. Let's press on. It's hot in here. It's very warm. Alright, back out into the radioactive hellhole that is the warp core. And there is a, a horror down here somewhere. There he is. Great, now I can't see him. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Thought I'd drop in on you there, Mr. Horror. Okay. Door is now open. There is... an alien hexapod thingy-majig. Thank you. Use the freight hangar access on the side of the turbine room. Oh, these, these, um, blast doors. They don't seem to be able to get through the blast doors, even in open. But I can shoot through them. Anyone, please fix. I mean, right, not right now, because right now it's, it's, it's probably the reason why I'm still alive, right? <laughs> uh, they'll just make these things a bit hard to shoot when they're dancing backwards or forwards like this. Oh, they figured it out. Oh, they figured it out. They can get through there at a certain angle. Oh, 
Woohoo! Where'd that second one come from? Overseers, horrors, assassins, all of them scumbags. Now, in here, I seem to remember there being access to that loot container from before. Was it not here? Um, maybe it was here, but there we go. Is this it? Ah. No. I'm really confused now. Maybe it's further along then. You know that, uh, that epic loot container we found? I swear the access to it was here, but maybe I'm... Maybe I'm out of date. Uh, we'll find it. We'll find it somewhere. Okay. It's around here somewhere. Alright, let's move on. Jesus. Freaky bastards! Freaky, freaky bastards! <sighs> Alright. Shortcut door, in case we die again, we can get back here. Alright. Big butt bug alien. I hear him. Two of them. Oh crap. All the all the heels. <laughs> I need all the heels. Look at they retreated back up until I. Ah! Oh. Damn these creatures! Get off my face! Don't you even think about it! Don't you even think about it! Freaking out. Freaking, freaking fricks. Ah. Okay. I'm okay. Through here now, then. Get an assassin. Spawn right on top of us last time, I think. Oh, cheeky little. I knew it. I'm waiting for you. Son of a. Done will burn. Uh, that one. Thank you. Get out of it. Look at these cheeky wankers. Trying to climb up the walls. Oh, there's a lot of them. How? How? The freaking hell! You're not even here! You're through blocks! Alright, so... Because I can shoot things through blocks earlier... That's it. That's how it works. They get me back. We can both cheat. <laughs> oh, sod right off, sunshine. Yeah, little turd. Where are all these assassins spawning in? Oh crap. This was a mistake. Oh, 
Quite loud. Look at this horror, right? That's how he was getting me. <laughs> He's such an asshole. <laughs> you got yourself stuck there, though, didn't you? Yeah, you did. You got yourself stuck there. You bell end. <laughs> Ouch, I am hurt. Alright. Sentry gun. Uh, that's inconvenient. The main access to the cargo is blocked. We need to purge that container, but the console is in the maintenance area level 3. Find the maintenance access corridor. Yay! Alright, it's... Ah, uh, no, it's one of these. Alright, yeah, I remember now. Warning. Oh, that's... Ah! The little ones are scarier than the big ones. Freaky damn things. Alright, thank you for waiting until I reloaded my gun before coming to me. I really appreciate that. Yay! Stuff. Love that. I love love stuff. Stuff is my favourite. Ooh, hello. Hit my head on the roof there. Donk, donk, donk. <laughs> Alright. Ah, well, hi everybody. All right, we need to go all the way back to the beginning now. I wish you'd stop doing that. Honestly, freaky doors opening and closing on their own. All right, we need to jet back our way back up. Assume there's nothing here. I think it's respawned. Creepy, isn't it? It's quiet. A little too quiet. Right, so this is where the, uh, it is impossible you could ever succeed with what you do. Made it this far, haven't I? I've got the wonderful, wonderful superpower of being able to respawn, mate. Crap. I see them. I also hear a scorpion though. Oh, and it's the little ones. They're so fast. Ow! Get away from me! Ah! Ah! Ah, hold no! out! Why is all the things coming out? They're all trying to eat my face! Ah! Uh, I need a holiday. <laughs> I don't like it. Um, what have I got here? What's this? Dermal parasite. Dermal parasite. Yeah. Parasite scam. Um, okay. That is one of these injections. It's that one, I think. Dermal. There we go. Ow. Damn. I need some more bandages. There we go. I'm fine now. Thanks. <laughs> I have a waffle and some canned meat. Need to recover after that dermal parasite. Ah, right. We're actually pretty lucky. That's our first dermal parasite in this place. So, these things though. Oh my god, these things. Look, they're really little. But that's the problem. <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember the movie The Mummy? Right. Do you remember the scarab beetles from that film? Those things. That was I was I was very young when I watched the, the the mummy for the first time. That thing was nightmare fuel. Those scarab beetles. Oh my god, they freaked me the hell out for a while. That was just like my worst nightmare ever. <laughs> Freaking scarab beetles crawling and burrowing inside of you and then eating you from the inside out. Yeah, not great. Challenged by my minuscule being. By a minuscule being. I'm not a minuscule being, mate. I've got an epic shoy. Deal with it. Um, a breach in container 4 has been detected and emergency bulkheads have failed to close. Structural integrity is decreasing and a cargo purge is required to prevent further damage to the Ilmarinen. Pull cargo lever. Connection lost with container 1, 2, 3. Containers 4, 5, 6, and 7, and 8 purged. Ooh! Uh, you seem to have the will to... Get out of here, mate. I don't have all day. If you're gonna, if you're gonna try and intimidate me, mock me, whatever, 
Crack on, sunshine. Um, okay. One horror down. Alright. I think we need to go back to the main cargo area that we were in just a second ago. Oh my lord. What are you doing? What are you doing? Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, cheeky swine hiding behind a corner, huh? Making me chase you. Ambushing me. That. That's just rude, is what that is. Okay, there is a quick way down, back down to where we were, and that is to go outside. Um, do a little bit of, a little bit of freezing. Not a lot of freezing, just a little bit of freezing. And then we're back here in this door that we opened earlier. Bingo. Nice and quick. Oh, hello chaps, you respawned, have you? You respawned in the wall though, so, yeah. You still not got used to the whole respawning thing. See, I'm a professional respawner. I've <laughs> died so many times now. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just really good at respawning. Okay. God, this thing, I forget how big this, this dungeon crawl is. It's amazing. The area ahead of us seems to be rebuilt. Hopefully the cargo hatch access is still there. Go find and use it. Alright, IDA. Jesus. Bossy much? Ow! Oh god. Oh god. That hurt. Oh my health. My health is tanking. Oh god, what is wrong with me? I've got a fever attack. Alien parasite. Um okay, that's going to be that one again. Ouch. Uh fever attack. I don't know what that is. that one. Oh my god, I've got all the What is this? Infected wound. Endo parasite. Just all the all the kits. Holy crap. Infected wound. What do I do with that? Infected wound. Um, consumables, please have a trauma kit. Thank you. Whoa. Okay, there we go. Wow. That was like all of the, all of the illnesses. It's just, I'm watching my bars go mental. The food starts tanking. The stamina starts tanking. Everything's tanking. It's just like, ah, somebody help me. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Uh, let's put you lot in the fridge then. And there goes like a lot of my meds just in one hit right then. Um, that was that, that was that's the worst these horrors have done to me so far. Okay. Oh god! Oh god! Ooh! Three freaking overseers! Are you kidding me? I tell you what, I, I'm I've got three epic weapons here. I've got heavy armor on. I would not want to be doing this without these three epics right now. <laughs> this is not possible. You must be defeated. <laughs> when I get the impression that the, the the weakened whisperer, the the legacy trying to talk to me, is just like this spoiled little kid in his basement going, well, "That's not fair. Why is he winning?" <laughs> I told you, mastery of respawning. Um, very nice, Ascosium. Lovely, 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 Ascosium. Cheeky little loot crate hidden in the in the um, piping there. All right, that. I believe an explosive block, but this is what we want. But I can't remember how to. Act. Ah, here we go. I hate it when things explode. Vermilion, things are spawning in front of me. Vermilion, Vermilion, please fix. <laughs> Breaking your own rules, Vermilion. <laughs> Uh, it, it'll probably be like, well, that's Elyon did that. That's nothing to do with me. Elyon did that. Well, okay, well, if Elyon did it, then Elyon, please fix. Right. Uh, find the entry point to the core area. All right, cool. Now we've got some more bugs to deal with. Scorps. Die! Seriously! Die! Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, the scorp was like bloody Rambo. Rambo scorpion. Not gonna die. Uh, 
All right. I don't. I think we go up, but actually, I think we go behind that there to progress because I think we go. We only go up here to grab another cargo box. Cargo box access. What well, good lie actually? It might be. Good, good, good headshot. Important headshot that one. Oh, oh, bastard! My sensors are tracking a constant flow of particles. They seem to come through damaged vents. We could use to get to the core faster. Search for a damaged vent on the upper area of this cargo hold. Right, right, right. Um. Bit of jetpacking, uh, jetpacking about. Oh, oh! It's so little. It's so little. Oh God! They're in my face. Go away. Jesus, was that a clutch shot? I just flinched. <laughs> and got a headshot. <laughs> Call it. Lucked out. Damn assassins. Get out of here. I see ya. I don't know why you're not shooting at me, but I see ya. I'll take it. Not being shot at by one of those. It's uh, pleasant. Ah, right. God, dear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Like, let's let's try if we can use this passage. Search for a possible exit. I feel like Doom Guy right now. It's just <laughs> one man against a horde of angry creatures in hell. The particle density is dropping. Be careful. All right. Die. Freaking three headshots with a shotgun should be more than enough to nail your ass to the wall, sunshine. Uh, Commander, something... Ah, uh, uh, missed it, damn it. So you got all this dialogue coming up, but I'm busy shooting things, sorry. Uh, cannot... How can a lower being... How can a lower being indeed? Uh, now this room is interesting. This room is very interesting. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, okay. So I, I know there's there's quite a few complaints about this room about this particular dungeon crawl in this room because of a certain something down there uh, right let me see if it's actually still there your old drone is your friend I tell you oh okay they removed it yep okay that's not so bad then um, to be honest I didn't mind it I know it was like it was insta death um, but if you were quick enough you can get around it that that used to be a um, pulse turret one of those green laser spitting pulse turrets. The ship killers. Let alone, let alone, you know, being on foot and stuff. Epic armor? Ah. Ooh! Ah, it's a hover vessel. Hover vessel tool turret. I need one for my CV. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of assassins just spawned, I think. Or not, just the one. Fine. Oh, hi! <laughs> we seem to have shared the same spawn space. <laughs> yeah, you will be consumed and obliterated! I love how East. You know, you gotta give him 10 out of 10 for commitment to this whole kind of I'm gonna die thing. Considering the situation, there's so many little scorpions. Fine, they can't negotiate, navigate the tunnel. Take three sizes of scorpions down there. Hey, absolutely crazy. 
Right. Now, if those scorpions were able to negotiate, uh, navigate this tunnel and run down that tunnel at me, that would be different. That would be even more. <laughs> the next room should hold the core console. Alright. Now, what weapon do I need for this? Not the epic sniper. Epic shoddy doddy. Uh, this is not the end. Will prevail. You. Dying whisper. Alright. You! <laughs> you! <-hoo. laughs> Why, I had a. Talk to the Elmarinen AI. Authorization code. Accepted. Listing available logs. St. John, Chief Engineer. Play. Mission day 500. We have found something. 500 days searching for habitable words. 500 days without any success. We found a lot of resources, but sure, the captain said we cannot deviate from our mission. The mining crews will take it easy while we head to the next star. At least we have found something interesting today. A bird's out world near a red dwarf. Captain has allowed me to join the expedition. This will feel like a holiday after 499 days staring at the sensor logs and cataloging broken doors. I am quite excited. Uh, official complaint. I am adding this to the ship's... Ah, oh, bugger. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> I missed that. You guys can pause the video and actually read it. I can't. <laughs> uh, okay. Um... One thing that I'll need to explain the damage is scratches and strange melted traces in the hangar. If it was me, we'd have left it where it was. Damn science kids. Gonna hate those science kids, right? A message to the captain. This message is happening. This mess is happening in hangar B is getting out of control. Frank, the wreckage has lost weight and even mass, which seems crazy. Spilling some substance all over the floor. We've sealed the door, but I doubt this will keep this slippery stuff inside. As our lead scientist told me, the wreckage they picked up was covered in a biological substance which seems to molder due to the changed atmosphere, per atmospheric parameters. Really great. Can you guys guess who's getting assigned to cleaning squad? Uh, personal note. What did they bring on board? These idiots. This wasn't some sort of biological remains melting from the ship. No, this ship itself is transforming into a semi-liquid state. And if that wasn't enough, the substance is growing on every surface like a mushroom, sending out spores that hopefully now are being removed from the air ducts again. We might possibly have to cut off this entire section from the ship to prevent this getting out of hand. Wow, how long do these logs go on for? Uh, interim captain... Chief St. John. The captain and second command have been sent to Med Bay, as well as third of the crew. The spores have led to some serious infections. We've sent a message to the HQ that all ships are not to make contact with any of these wreckages, which we now refer to as infectors. This seems to be what they do, and a report a, and a warning and flood the areas with decontamination fluids. Uh, the report and warning was sent a day ago until a help arrives. It might take a while. I'm afraid we have to seal large parts of the ship and flood the areas of decontamination fluids. I skipped the line. Sorry. Um, who cares? <laughs> the crew is lost. <laughs> or transformed. Oh, what would you call it? We've lost main control of the ship. Uh, my crew and I at least managed to prevent the alien organism taking full control, but we could not prevent the ship from moving back to Elyon. Uh, for whatever reason, it wants to go there. We have damaged the engines, but I'm afraid this substance is able to repair them over time. We did not manage to activate the self-destruct, so I'm putting this as a warning for anyone reading this. Get out of here as quick as you can. Blast this ship into pieces. It is on you to stop this plaque from spreading to inhabited worlds. Plaque. That's an interesting way of putting it. Play next. Ilmarin. There. Legacy. Please. Hell. System shut down. Close communication. Commander. Shall I send the report of my investigation to Kessel right away? Please do. ASAP. Commander. Incoming transmission. That was quick. Commander, I'm glad you survived this, but we are afraid. Things are even worse than we feared. The Talon have warned us. It seems the legacy has risen again in a distant place, and the poor people of the Amaranon have accidentally brought it back to this system. We will forward your report and contact our allies and talk about the next steps. Hopefully we found this ship early enough to avoid a second war of silence. I'll report back ASAP. 
War of Silence. No time to explain that in detail at the moment, my friend. Everything you need to know for now. The legacy invaded this sea of stars in the distant past. It was just about defeated after a war that had most of the inhabited worlds falling into the besaid silence. The legacy is not about conquering territory like the Xerax of the Creole. It is pure destruction of some strange kind. Okay, more about that at a later time. Just got a message from my organization for you. Now forwarding. We'll speak later again. Uh, may the voices of the past protect you, my friend. Same to you. Commander, Agent Kessel forwarded a message from an unknown source. The message is decoded already. Show me. Dear friend, we could not help but notice your... <laughs> your extended car warranty is about to expire. <laughs> Sorry, that just popped into my head. I don't know what's going on. Um, your dedicated support of the idea of defending the galaxy and liberate it from the forces of repression. In case you want to shift your commitment to the next level, we invite you to meet us in any of the civilian way stations in this system. Uh, systems gas giant moon's orbit. Your suit AI will be able to decode the exact meeting coordinates as soon as you approach one of the stations. Sincerely, Section 32, glad. Let's hope these guys can make uh, help us make contact with the UCH fleet. Let's hope. Huh? Let's hope. Da -da -da. Yay! Uh, Commander, the Omarion is cleaned and secured. Agent Kessel just sent me a message that the organizers take care of the vessel. We shall move ahead and meet Section 32 on the Civil Way Station, one of the gas giant moons orbits. Ah, oh, this thing doesn't explode the core anymore. I want to salvage it. I want all of its juicy bits. It's got so many juicy bits. I want to take them apart. And have them for my own. Um, ah, that's that's a shame. It doesn't explode anymore, guys. No, some other some other mugs are going to come and take care of the ship, huh? Okay. Well, that's that is a bit of a disappointment. I'm going to be honest. Because you know what I really like to do after the core explodes on this thing is multi-tool my way the hell out of here. Right now I have to kind of re-navigate all these freaking ducks and... Christ. Ah, I'm so lost already. I don't know which way is up, down, left, right. Who's... Who's... There's... Ah, man. I loved salvaging this thing. It was a beast. It was a monster. There was so much goodies in it. Yeah, second CV just from this bloody thing. Alright. Well, that happened. I can't remember the way out. <laughs> Damn. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. The Elmarinant is done. Apparently. Some relief crews are going to come and finish it off or something. And uh, I have to try and navigate my way out of here. <laughs> <laughs> See, this doesn't even open. This doesn't even open. Ah, oh, man. I can't multi-tool my way out. Shortcut doors don't open. There are so many, like... I think there are loot containers in here. Maybe I haven't gotten. I, I think I've gotten most of them. Certainly, like, things like the generators, the warp drive, all that stuff. Can't I can't get that. Man. That sucketh. That truly sucketh, because uh, the core, I think, is in number three. Yeah, it's in here. But, um, never mind. It's got admin core, and it no longer self-destructs. Boo! Boo! <laughs> Boo! Oh, well. We shall move on! So, uh, well, that was fun. Creaky. That was a hell of a run. That took... Um, it always takes a long time to do that one. It always takes a long time to run it, but that just seemed to take uh, a real long time. I don't know if they've upped the difficulty. Maybe. Like I said before, I think I am very, very happy that I have uh, my epic weapons. <laughs> so I've got Talon Guard, another seal of credibility. More posters. More posters I can put up. Good. Good. Um, and we did actually loot. We didn't actually get a huge amount of loot from that other than just mostly bits and bobs and stuff. But uh, we got some small electronic bridges. We need four of these um, for our SV. Our new SV. A slightly more powerful SV. Small electronic bridge. A 
That's three or four. Very nice. Now we can just make make one, and then we'll be good. But uh, yeah, another heavy armor, a large matrix, which will come in useful. Look at this. We set out. We set out on this voyage with, with next to nothing <laughs> in this, and now look at it. Um, brilliant. Okay. So next is to head to this way station. Now I seem to remember the way station. Uh, there was a way station in orbit around the snow planet. Be glad. Uh, glad is invited you to meet them. Find civilian way station in orbit at one of the gas giants moons in this system. Your suit AI will be able to decode the exact meeting coordinates as soon as you approach the station. Gas giant moon. Um, so, well, there's only one gas giant here and that's Kai, and there's only one moon around it, so that pretty much limits our choices <laughs> where we got to go. Uh, after that, that mission is Uncertain Outcomes, which is the planetary remnant. That's interesting. And then meet Glad is Sigma Fulcrum. I don't know what that is. Never done that one before, so that'll be interesting. Okay. Well, uh, one thing I do want to do while we're here, um, well, I was, of course, hoping to salvage the Almarinen because that is a lot of material in that thing, as you can as you can see, a lot of goodies. I guess I can see why they probably kept it. Um, locked down so that you can't salvage it is um it's a significant part of the story it's a significant dungeon to run and it's a pain in the ass when you're on a multiplayer server and these things are, are stripped down and almost completely salvaged and you've got to wait for them to regenerate um i mean you'll still have to wait for it to regenerate i guess but it can regenerate a lot quicker i suppose i don't know anyway one thing i did want to do while i was here was actually go down onto that planet down there because it has Zascosium, and that's the one thing that we're kind of missing at the moment from our resource cache. Uh, we have, I picked up a bunch of Arrestrum from one of the asteroids here. I picked up a little bit of a Zascosium from that POI there. Um, but yeah, I could do with a whole uh, a deposit or two Zascosium just in stock. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to head down there. I don't think there's anything... Um, yeah, well, there's a few POIs and the resource deposits around here. I don't think there's anything particularly interesting. If there was magnesium up here, I'd go like that. But hopefully there's magnesium down on the planet. There's not much in the way of Xerox presence up here at all, is there? Which is lovely. Yeah, okay, so let's head down to the planet. Um, we'll have a little poke around down there, see if I can find us a Scosium deposit, anything else of interest. And then I think um, probably in the next episode, I think we're going to continue now with the uncertain outcomes. We'll go find that way station in Kai orbit. Let's see first of all though if we can find some Zascosium. Oh! Oh! Hang on. Let me see if I can get some light for you guys. Uh, I'm not really sure it's going to come through. And this looks alarming. That is very similar to what we find on the Legacy Homeworld. Oh man! The, the, the sort of like towers and the ground and stuff unknown helix yeah that is it's a legacy city don't know if you remember or not if you've never seen the uh, zero uh, the, the the legacy homeworld or something that entire planet is covered in things like that that unknown helix there is not one that shoots back i don't think it's not a charged helix uh yeah there's a lot of um Oh, there's Xerox presence as well, it would seem. But what I'm shooting at right now? That's a cannon drone. Okay, yeah, you can take that out. Xerox scam. Okay, we are here to find Zerskosium. Um, Definitely big Xerox. Okay, range on this planet is insane. Yeah, being shot at. Plasma miner, that's cool. What does that look like in... Oh, okay. That's interesting. Plasma miner. Can't really see it. Um, night time at the end of the day, innit? So yeah, the ranges on these things are crazy, right? 
Okay, all my guns are just opening up right now. This is awesome. <laughs> Rados base. It's unshielded. So my CV may actually be able to uh, take it out. I need some light. I can't see. 92% shields. All four guns are opening up. There's no point trying to dodge these lasers. I don't think you can dodge them. Um, I'm wondering if my turrets can take theirs out before my shields drop. That would be quite cool. Yeah, all four guns. Literally fire everything. What happened to that plasma miner? Did it? Did it? Did it collapse? <laughs> it's gone. I think. I think one of the uh, supporting struts has gone. The entire thing has collapsed. I would have thought Elion would have made that uh, without structural integrity. They made it so flimsy. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. Never mind. Um, come on, it couldn't take this long to take these guns out, surely. Are we out of range or something? And we just... Let me move in a bit closer. Oh, let's not move in a bit closer. Okay. Yeah, that was a mistake. Let's, uh, let's move back out of range. Uh, yeah. There's a little bit more fire coming out of there than than, than anticipated. Alright, fine. We'll stay, at, we'll stay at this range. The lasers... I, I don't know what, what is taking these uh, guns so long to take those lasers out. I mean, they're shooting. Are they are they definitely in range? We've got 61% shields. Let me take over one of my guns. Why have you stopped firing? Why have you all stopped firing? You've got ammo. Come with it. Hello? You're wasting my... What are you doing? Shoot! Okay, were they not in range in the first place? Is that what the problem was? Getting shot by lasers here, I've got to be careful. Yeah, they've got a red dot. They're in range, range 530 meters, they're definitely in range. But for whatever reason, they stopped firing. The thing is, with doing that, is that I don't know what my shield status is, so it's all very well and good. There we go. No, no, see, see, you move them in range, and the, the ion cannons open up then. I don't know why I'm doing this. This is completely pointless. Um, I mean, it, it, other than just being a bit of an experiment <laughs> on on weapon range, we're here to find Zascosium. Let's not try to get distracted here. Um, right, there are resource deposits all over. This. this is a big planet as well. This is a big planet. Okay, uh, fine. A lot of Xerax territory. Oh, Pentax deposit. Very small though, so not a big loss. Um, Lots of Xerax territory. I think I'll probably do a circumnavigation of the, the North Pole, then the South Pole, and, and hopefully somewhere in the middle. Find us some Zascosium. This planet is... It's like a moon. It's like a giant moon. Gold deposit! Oh, right, okay, I'm going to stop for that. Definitely stopping for that. I know it's very small, but gold is... Uh, gold is actually a lot more valuable now than it used to be a long time ago. It used to be pretty much pointless other than in multiplayer. Um, so let's stop and get some gold for sure. Um, and then I'm going to carry on, see if we can find that elusive Zascosium. Oh, well, this is interesting. Oh, there we go. You know, for a, for a second there, that, that ground wasn't digging out. I think my drone is about to cut out. Yeah, that is a really, really, really deep deposit. Um, outside temperature is 258 degrees centigrade. This is going to make mining this a little bit tricky. Um, and that's an understatement of the century, that is. Seven, these, the range is usually 60 meters on these drones, so the fact that that deposit is 70 meters away, it just ain't happening. <laughs> it just ain't happening. Um, you can't auto mine gold. So, oh. So the only way to get that down there then would be with a miner of some sort. Oh, damn it. Um, oh, that really kind of upsets plans. <laughs> it really, it really causes problems, doesn't it? Um, I thought you were doing 2,000 or so iron. Why have you stopped? Come on, give me 2,000 iron here, you swine. Okay. Oh, uh, damn it, that really, that really screws me up. 
That does. Okay, so uh, the best miner... Again, I would probably avoid hover miners. They're just... They're just garbage. <laughs> I'm not going to be nice about it. They are just garbage. Um, so tier 3. Ah, oh my god, it's going to just set back my plans to have a little combat SV so much. But... In order to get the materials for the combat SV, I am probably going to need this. Um, right, okay. I need more of it. I mean, I've got a restroom, I just need this Ascosium. Let's see. We're going to have to come back for this gold. Let's see then um, if we can find that, that Ascosium and if we can actually mine it. I can't really... To the 300 degrees centigrade outside, I can't really leave the ship. You know, I would just burn instantly. I would just be on fire or something. I don't know. Um, okay, back back to uh, back to scouting then. Yeah, I just realised there is no Ascosium on this planet. <laughs> uh, the the the, uh, the the sort of sector map said that there was Ascosium here, but there isn't. There's ice. Weirdly, there's ice underneath the surface. There's Sathium gold. A restroom Promethium Pentaxid. Ice. Is that a very large ice deposit? Very small. Okay. Um, but no, no Zascosium. <laughs> uh, bastard. Deadly temperature differences, lots of resources, but very difficult to mine. Okay. It did say that. Minus 200 to 550 degrees centigrade on this planet. That is crazy source. Okay, well, this is... I, I can't get what I need out here, then. I, I need to find a source of Ascosium somewhere. If A on this planet... I mean, does it still say it? Yeah, look. Lee, planet, Baron Scorch, Ascosium. I think this is what's possible. Rather than what is. This is what's possible on this planet, but not what is. Okay. Um, uh, well, I guess... There is no sources of Scosium then in the starter system at all. Other than what we find in POIs. It's a drone presence. Crash ships for days. Look at this nice little cluster of stuff here. That's one of those crash ships. Lots of thrusters down there. Gold, copper. Survey drone. Hang on, I'm losing light again. Colonists. It's just a some deco blocks. That is, it's kind of cool. Gold deposit. Uh, okay then. Well, I think we need to perhaps adjust strategy. Pirate something over there, and we're back over to the unknown helix and stuff. Um, in that case, then what about this asteroid field? Mm, Nososcosium. Chi moon. Ice in orbit. Nososcosium. Wow. Wow, no Zascosium sources at all. Well, that, that pretty much just scuppers all my plans. Really, really does. I can't get high-level mining lasers or anything without Zascosium. Okay. Well, that leaves us with very limited options. Other than just going warping around the galaxy, which is another option... Um, I kind of did, I wanted to leave that until we finished the missions, but in all honesty, we might just have to go and find another sector and come back to Elyon and, and uh, carry on the story. Um, but that pretty much leaves us to just either looting or doing that. Let's see if we can find... Let's go warp, warp to Kai. It's the last place that we haven't... Well, other than the asteroid field, it's the last place we haven't warped to. Um, I'm going to move, remove the derelict ship waypoint. We don't need that anymore. That is done. Kai Moon Sector. Swing her about. And warpy warps. Alright, there's the way station. Just a quick check. Local area. Silicon and ice. No Xerox patrols. Pirate stations. All right. Okay then. Well, I wonder if we might be able to buy some Zascosium ore or something from um, 
some of the traders around. I don't know. I haven't seen any, but then I haven't really been looking, to be fair. Uh, but yeah, okay. We're going to do the next mission then. And just hope that we can actually loot some more Zoscosium. In order to get our mining ship, we need um, 287, of which we have 153 already in the factory. Plus whatever we've got in our input box, which is eh, not a lot, 11. I wouldn't really count it, to be honest. Uh, we're going to be a little way off of getting a minor laser on um, the ship here as well. Because that hover vessel, capital vessel, tool turret, there is 50 Ziscosium alloy. 50 Ziscosium alloy. That's ouchies. Ziscosium alloy is 5. <laughs> Um, so we need like wow okay that outputs five to be fair so it is it is actually five to five we need 50 suscosium ingots then to make 50 alloy we got the restroom that's fine uh, oh that changes things i just thought i thought there would be suscosium on that planet it's not a big deal like i say we're just gonna go have to go warpy warps and see if we can find someone somewhere else um which is the whole point of the game, really. <laughs> I'm just like, for some reason in my head, I'm reticent to do it because I'm like, oh, but I haven't finished the missions yet. <laughs> and you know, you go out, you leave the starter system once you finish the missions. I don't know. That's that's just my crazy, my crazy brain, my crazy brain. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're, we're gonna do, we're gonna do the next mission in the next episode. Uh, that is gonna be, that is gonna be all for today. Why? Oh, I see. I did it. I done. I done did stupid. I done did stupid. Well, there we go. You, all you guys, shouting in the comments that I was making iron ore and not iron ingots. <laughs> I've now just realised my error. <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be all for today. Join me next time. We'll start the next mission. This is the first of the missions that I haven't done before, so it'll be interesting to see where it goes what happens um so hopefully you guys will join me for that thank you so much for watching i do hope you enjoyed and hopefully i'll see you next time until then take care bye bye